Hi. Hi, everybody. It's really good to see you guys today. And this, I can't believe it. We've been Night Explorers all month. And this is the last week. And so now, you know, we talked about day and night and the solar system. Um, my very enormous monster <laughs> just ate. No, just what was that? Eight, nine noodles or something like that. It was amazing. Um, so now we're here talking about deep space. And that's things that are way beyond our solar system, really far. But I got to thinking the other day, what, you know, the universe is so big, deep space is so big, I, it just blows my mind. And I kept thinking, well, if there's other solar systems out there, if there's other galaxies out there, is there somebody like me or you out there looking back at us thinking we're deep space? Maybe. So where are we? <laughs> Let's take a, a little minute to explore where we are. Maybe we're deep space to somebody way, way, way out there, light years away. So if you have a piece of paper, you can play along with me. I'm going to do something here on the board and we're going to draw some circles. Let's find out where we are. I think we're in deep space. So um, get, a, get a pencil or paper. You can do it just on any small piece of paper on your on your tabletop, but I'm gonna do it on the board and I'm gonna draw the first circle to find out where we are. Right here, I'm in the middle of my paper, I'm gonna draw a face and some eyes and a nose and a mouth, and that's me. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Maybe I should draw that bigger. Well, it's gonna get big. So I drew a circle face, and that's me, and I'm gonna write me in there. And I am, where am I? I'm right here. So you can hug yourself, <laughs> you're right here for me. But where are we? Are you in your house? <laughs> I bet you are. So I'm gonna draw a circle around that face with a different color and that's going to be my house. Okay, I'm going to write house on it. I'm me in my house. And of course, I have my picture of the house up there that I'm going to put. Okay, me in my house. Let's see, where is my house? How about this? Do you live on a street with other houses? It's your neighborhood. So I'm gonna draw another circle with another color, whoa, around my house because that is my neighborhood. And I'm gonna put an E-I-G-H-B-O-R hood. That's all big word, neighborhood. So I'm gonna put that up there. That's where I live. Me, my house, my neighborhood. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Oh, where is my neighborhood? Where do we live, guys? Okay, so I'm going to put a picture of our town up there next. And I am going to draw a big circle around my neighborhood to represent your town. And so I heard East Jordan, Kalkaska, Traverse City, all around there. And I write town. So that's my town. Can you see that yellow marker on camera? You can't see that. Oh boy, I better do a different color. Yeah, okay, so we'll do another red because top, oh, that one doesn't show up. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's town. Okay, what comes after town? I heard somebody say Michigan a minute ago. Where's our town? <laughs> it's in Michigan. All right, so there's a picture of our state, good old Michigan. I'm gonna stick that up here on my board and draw a circle around my other circles and write Michigan. All right, there we go, Michigan. It's getting bigger. There I am in my house, in my neighborhood, in my town of Kalkasco or East Jordan or Traverse City and in my state of Michigan. Okay, where is Michigan? What country do we live in? 
Here we go. <laughs> the United States. Right, so I am going to draw another circle around my Michigan circle. And that's going to be the USA. That's our country, USA. Whoa, so if somebody wanted to find us, they could find us. All right, so there's the United States picture. Oh, that's going to be in the way, I think, a little bit later. That's OK, I'll take it down. Anyway, USA, where is our country located? What continent do we live on? Have you ever heard anybody say North America? Can you kind of see where the USA is and there's Canada above us and Mexico below us? And then, of course, I don't have it in the picture, but South America is even in there to the south. It's not in the picture, but there's North America. So I got to draw another circle around the USA that is <laughs> North America. And I'll do a black one. Here we go. North America. Oh, these circles are getting so big. And I'm just going to write North AM. <laughs> Abbreviation North America. Where is North America? I bet you guessed. Look at this. There we are. We're on Earth. We're getting there to our place in space. There's Earth. I'm going to put Earth down here. And I'm going to draw another circle. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. My circle is getting huge. Starting out small with me in my house, in my neighborhood, in my town, in my state, in my country, in my continent, and on my planet. So that's Earth. So if somebody wanted to find us in deep space, this is our address. Okay, so where is Earth? Oh, we studied it last week. The solar system. Earth is part of a big solar system. So I need another circle on my board to be our solar system. Wow, what? A bigger circle. Okay, solar, so L-A-R, system. There we go. Oh, how many circles do I have? Me, house, neighborhood, town, Michigan, USA, North America, Earth, solar system. That's a bunch of circles. Okay, now where's our solar system? Whoa, we're getting really deep into space now. <laughs> it's a galaxy. And I have two pictures because our solar system is a part of a galaxy called the Milky Way. And if you take a look, and another picture of the Milky Way, there's a little tiny red spot, and that's where our Milky Way is, or that's where our solar system is in the Milky Way. Sorry about that, I said that wrong. But anyway, yeah, there we are in this Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> and it's spinning, it's really cool. I'm gonna put it up here because I'm running out of room. Whoa, there we are in the Milky Way galaxy. Okay, I need another circle on there, right? What color? Oh, it's time for another red circle. Okay, so here's our galaxy. Ah, oh my gosh, I'm coming off the board. I better <laughs> end up somewhere, somewhere pretty soon. Okay, so that's a galaxy. Galaxy, G A L A X Y. Galaxy. Galaxy. Whoa. Where's our galaxy? <laughs> We're really deep into space now. Our galaxy is in something called a universe with other billions and millions and millions and millions of galaxies and star systems and all kinds of stuff. The universe is has everything that we just talked about in. There's, oh, see that swirly galaxy? That could be our Milky Way, but there's other galaxies. There's billions of other swirling galaxies out there and galaxies of all kinds of other shapes and planets and stars. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. So I need my last circle, my last, 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 last circle for the universe. And I can just barely fit it on there. And that includes everything that we talked about. So if somebody way out past our galaxy from another galaxy was looking for us, maybe we're in deep space or maybe they are. <laughs>
the universe. So that's our address in deep space. <laughs> I love this. Put him down right there. Okay, there we go. Woohoo! That's where we are. <laughs> so we are actually in space. Pretty cool. So let's talk about um, some of the things that, and we're going to do some projects um, that I had to gather some supplies for. The first thing we're going to do is talk about our sun because all the stars in this universe, they're suns too, but sometimes they are different from each other. I'm going to ask you a question. I have two balls here. We're going to do the balloon thing in a minute. <laughs> I have two balls here. One of them is white and the other one is sort of reddish orange. Just like I want you to pretend that these are stars. Which one do you think would be the hotter star? The white one <laughs> or the reddish orange one? What do you think? Well, if you said white, you're right. And sometimes that doesn't make sense to me because when I look at red things I think oh that's really hot but in case of stars <laughs> um they can be big red giants or they can be smaller white dwarfs and the whiter or blue stars are actually hotter just like people are different from each other stars can be different from each other and I I'm gonna read this right out of my book because it's really hard to explain about stars have life cycles and you if you get one of these you can read this too but stars have life cycles just like planets and animals and in their first stage all stars are called proto stars and and they are surrounded by a disk and they're made by gases and dust particles out there in space did you see our universe picture did you see in gases and dust particles yeah that's the stuff it's called the nebula and stars are formed from those yep and then they start to swirl and they start to get hotter and hotter and they start to burn and then they become maybe a star about like our yellow star um it's it's a yellowish burning ball of gas but then they start after billions and billions and billions and billions of years they might start to run out of the fuel that they burn and <laughs> they start to become bigger and bigger and they expand and they become a red giant. And then <laughs> they start to run out of more fuel and they're gonna start to collapse on themselves and that's when we're gonna do the balloon. And then maybe they collapse and collapse and get smaller and they burn really hot for a while and there are some white dwarfs, but stars have life cycles. And <laughs> you can think of it this way, the big red giants. They're cooler. All right, so that's how stars are different from each other. And so what happens after the star loses its fuel? You know, there's all kinds of stars in all different stages out there in deep space. What happens after the star has been burning bright, was a big red giant, and then starts to collapse? And what happens to the star at the very end of its life? Well, it could become a black hole. That's one of the possibilities. So now we get to do the balloon experiment. So if you have your balloon, I want you to blow it up to just a little bit bigger than this. You don't want it to be really huge and really giant because then you won't have enough aluminum foil to cover it with. That's what we're gonna do with it. There, about maybe nine or 10 inches and then tie it off. Okay, so that may, that's a little tricky for little hands to try and tie that off, but you can do it. I'm gonna get my markers out of the way because the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take a piece of aluminum foil and cover my balloon. And we may have to have more than one pieces of aluminum foil, because look, it doesn't fit. <laughs> so get out your aluminum foil and make sure your 
this is a star. This is a star. And see how silvery it is. It's towards the end of its life. It might be a little white dwarf. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good. I covered it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Did you get your balloon covered with aluminum foil? It's burning really hot. Look at that, it's shining. Okay, I didn't hear any no's, so I'm just gonna keep on going. They, I blew up my balloon, which is our white dwarf star. It's starting to burn toward the end of its life. And let's see what happens when a star starts to collapse. Most of the time a star's energy kind of, you can, you can think of it as arrows, arrows pushing out from the center of the star and forces pushing in. And most of the time they're balanced and the star stays around and everything like that. But once the energy from the inside starts to burn down, the energy and the gravity from the outside pushes in and pushes it and makes it smaller. So let's say that that happened. Our star used up all its fuel so now the gravity ah, is going to mush it down smaller. Your hands are the gravity. Can you do that? Are your hands, can you squeeze it? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're the gravity that's pushing that star smaller and smaller. So now if you have something sharp, we're going to pop the balloon really carefully. Whoa, did you hear that? I popped the inside of my balloon. But, okay. There it is, I popped it. And you can pop yours. And so now the inside of my balloon, the energy pushing back against the gravity isn't there anymore. So now when gravity starts to push on that star, it gets smaller and more compact and more dense. So push it down just a little bit, maybe about that much. And you can even measure it if you want, if you have a tape measure. You can measure how round your star is now that it's starting to collapse. Do, 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 do. And mine down from about 10 inches is now, whoops. Well, that was about, yeah, that was about 20 inches round. So now it's down to about 17. Whoa, and so now here comes gravity again. Nothing to push back against the gravity and Aluminum foil gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. It's getting crushed down. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna measure it down again. Let's see, it was 17 before, and now it's 13 inches. Okay, so now we're gonna crush it down as much as we can. Gravity is really doing its thing. Smush it and smush it and smush it and smush it. All the things that the star was made up was made up of is smushed down, can you crush it ah, into the tiniest ball that you can make out of that aluminum foil. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Let's measure that one. Okay, so now I've crushed it and crushed it and crushed it and crushed it. And now I'm down to eight. And that's a lot smaller than my nice big white dwarf. So there it is, a star that probably turned into a black hole. It's so dense and so much gravity there because all the matter that the star was made out of, the big, huge star is pushed down into a little tiny, tiny, a little tiny dot. <laughs> and so, Sometimes it's so dense and has so much gravity, it becomes a black hole when light going in can't even get away. And so they call it a black hole. <laughs> there it is. Ta-da! So I hope you had fun crushing up some, some aluminum foil and making our black hole star. There we go. So now um, I'm going to illustrate a little bit of what happens to the light when it, and why we call them black holes. Light can't get away. Like light hits that point and the gravity holds it and it just can't go back out. It's trapped. So what we need to do this, we're going to make something that looks like a small funnel. And I've already made one, but we're going to do 
and I'm going to turn on my camera. We're going to do one together. So do you have a big piece of construction paper or any kind of big piece of paper? I am going to put that down on my desk and show you what to do. So I'm going to turn on the table camera and show you what we're going to do, how to make our funnel. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, whoops, that's in the way. We'll do that later. Okay, so there we go. So what we're going to do is going to make a model of what happens to light in a black hole. And so I have a great big, huge circle that just barely fits on top of my piece of paper. Let's see if I can make that in the camera better. There we go. And I am going to take my marker and draw and trace my circle. And then I'm going to cut it out. Whoops. So, or you can just draw the biggest circle you can. But here we go. I am tracing around my big bowl here and I'm going to cut it out. Oops, write myself blue. Okay, so there we go. A circle, a circle to cut out. All right, so cut, cut, cut. I'm going to cut around my circle. How's everybody doing? We're going to make a model of a black hole with this. Maybe I should have used some black paper. <laughs> that would have been appropriate. But I have green today, so that's okay. Green, green, green. And you know, it's always okay to, if you decide that you don't want to do something that I'm doing on camera, it's always okay to just watch. And then maybe it'll get an idea of what to do for something later. So there is my big, whoops, big circle. Now I have to find kind of the center of the circle. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to kind of fold it in half and I'm not gonna crease it, but I'm gonna put a little mark where my finger is. <laughs> then I'm gonna fold it over again and I'm not gonna crease it, but I'm gonna pinch it. I pinched it. <laughs> there, now when I look at it, I can see where the center of the paper is of how I pinched it. And so now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut a straight line up to where I pinched it. Ta-da! See that? Woo! <laughs> Oops, I ripped it. Oh dear. So now I'm going to make my funnel. See how I, see how it, whoa, there, see how it, it looks. I'll show you back on camera. Okay, so now I'm going to take and I'm going to move this over just a little bit. See how it's become more 3D and I'm going to tape it. Whoa, here's my tape. Sorry. <laughs> I had to reach and find my tape here in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to tape that down. So it will stay looking like a funnel. Okay, almost got my funnel taped. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the back side. See how that's lifting up there? We just kind of overlap that. All right, I'll take that too, just because it's stronger that way. So there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is, um, I said if you had something that was unbreakable like a, a glass or a bowl, I got a Cool Whip container. I'm gonna stick my funnel right in there. See that? Okay, and I have a marble. So if you have a marble or a small ball like this, we're gonna roll this ball and try to get it to go around the edge of the funnel all the way down to the center where it'll be trapped. So let's see what happens. I'll try it. Okay, I'm going to roll it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a good one. So the closer you get to the center of the black hole, <laughs> right there, the more gravity pulls you down. There we go. Whoa. And there it goes. So that's a little model of a black hole and nothing can get out, not even light. <laughs> so 
I hope yours turned out pretty good. And if not, you can work on it and uh, put it together later. But just remember that not even light can get out of a black hole. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Well, let's make a galaxy. We talked about the sun. And um, so I'm going to switch. Actually, yeah, I'm going to switch cameras. I may go back to the table camera in a minute. But let's talk about a galaxy. And let's make one. OK, so are you ready to make a galaxy? Our sun is part of a galaxy. And there's lots of other, other suns in a galaxy. So what we're going to do is you need a jar. It could be like a canning jar, a mason jar, with some water in it. So if you've got a jar, fill it about three quarters with water. And you also need a spoon. It doesn't have to be a wooden spoon. It can be any kind of spoon that you can stir this up with. And you need a hole punch. And you need some scraps of paper. And you know I've got lots of scraps of paper. So now I think I will turn this back to the table cam so you can see what's happening and we can do it together. Those were the supplies. And let's do this. Oops, wrong click. I clicked it wrong this minute. There we go. <laughs> back to the table camera. OK, so here's your jar of water. And here is your hole puncher. And here are my scraps. So I'm going to I'm going to use some orange scraps and some pink scraps and maybe some purple scraps. And I'm going to cut a bunch of little little holes. And sometimes in your hole punches, the whole the things that you cut out get stuck inside your hole puncher. But see, look at that. I got all kinds of little pieces of dots. So cut a bunch of dots with your hole puncher and then kind of release them from your hole puncher if you've got a hole puncher that has a hole puncher catcher. Okay, so there's some. Whoa! Dump them out on the table. Ooh, okay. Oh, but I want some more colors. I got pink and brown and white, but I want some purple. So I hope you're there making some dots. Okay, there's my purple ones. Ah. <laughs> I think these dots are going to be stars and planets and solar systems when we start to do. Okay, so we're going to do some orange ones. Maybe we have some red giant or orange giant stars. So we've got to put those in there. We got some white dwarfs. We got some purple planets. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so I'm, I got a bunch. Okay, do you think that's enough? All right, so we cut a bunch of dots. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the water and stir them up in a swirling motion. And instead of the fat side of the spoon, I'm going to use the skinny side of the spoon because I don't really want to scoop my plants and <laughs> stars up onto my spoon. I, want, I just want to get them swirling in my water, just like the Milky Way galaxy. So here we go. Dun, 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 uh oh, <laughs> wait a minute. All right. So I got a bunch of these in my hand. I'm going to put them right on top of the water. Paper will float for a while until it gets soggy, right? OK, <laughs> so there they are. So here's our galaxy. Start moving your spoon around the edge of your jar. Get them swirling. Get them swirling. And then pull out your spoon. Woohoo! We've got a swirling galaxy, ta-da, just like our Milky Way, with purple planets and red, red giants and white dwarfs and all kind of nebula clouds where stars are born. OK, here we go. Again, I'm going to do it. Oh, I love this. This is fun. I could do this all day. Ta-da. It's a swirling galaxy. I hope you guys are having fun with that. OK. OK. So there is our galaxy. OK. So now <laughs> some of the stars are being born. Some of the stars are dying. We talk about when a star explodes, sometimes instead of becoming a, a black hole right away, sometimes a star will explode. And it will become a supernova. 
And let's see, I lost, oh, I lost my supernova stuff. Now you might not have this stuff on hand. This is more of a demonstration, a quick demonstration, because I didn't put this in the supply list. But we're gonna see kind of what a supernova might look like from space or through his telescope. <laughs> but um, we're gonna do it with milk and a plate. And you can do this later. So I'm pouring a little bit of milk in my plate. This is gonna be my supernova. And I have some color. You can use food coloring. And I happen to have watercolor paints. And so I am going to put dots of color. Whoops in my milk. So these are little swirling dots. Let's see if we can do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, it's starting to look really good. Gas clouds up in space. We'll see if we can make a supernova explosion. We'll see what we can do here. Ooh, there's green. Maybe I'll do a little orange. Ooh, it's pretty colorful. And yeah, so like I said, you can do this with milk and food coloring if you want. And I also have just a little dab of dish soap. I put a little dish soap in here and I'm taking my brush or you could take a Q-tip, um, which I couldn't find this morning. I meant to get a Q-tip and then let's watch a supernova explosion in space, a star exploding. I'm gonna put a little dish soap into this mixture, just a little touch. Let's see what happens. Ding! Whoa! I think I need a drop of dish soap. Let's see if I can squeeze off a drop. There, maybe I can. Let's drop, drop. Drop, 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 drop. That's why I need a Q-tip. <laughs> Let's try one over here. There we go, wow! <laughs> that worked. Kablam! <laughs> a star just exploded. And the gases are reforming. There we go. <laughs> so that's, that's our supernova explosion. You can try that at home. All you need is a little bit of food coloring and some milk <laughs> and some dish soap. All right, so I'm gonna put that one away. That's just a little demonstration today. I didn't have that in the supply list. Okay, so there's one more thing that you guys might wanna to try today. And, whoa, I'm gonna move the supernova out of the way. And I'm gonna bring in a black piece of paper. Actually, I'm gonna grab a paper towel first because I made a huge mess here with my supernova. I'm gonna wipe it up. There we go. I have a black piece of paper. Here's something that you might like to try. You know, when we're talking about deep space, it's black with lots and lots of light and stars in there. So you could make your own deep space paintings. It's sort of art. And so if you have some white paint or some glow in the dark paint, you can do this and you can do this along with me or you can do this later after the video. Stick a little bit of white paint in a container. I just squish some in there or if you have glow in the dark paint later, you can look at it in the dark and it'll, it'll glow. And if you have some Q-tips or just some brushes, um, and I'm looking for my brush. Whoa. I happen to have a toothbrush that I'm gonna use or just a regular brush like this over this and I have a stick. You can make a speckle star painting. All right, let's see what happens. First, I'm gonna use my regular brush or you can use a Q-tip um, and just touch dots. So if you had a Q-tip, you could just touch white dots anywhere you want. But I lost my Q-tips today, so I'm using a brush. Big dots, little dots, anywhere. But if you wanna be a little bit more random, you can use a brush and then maybe tap your brush with a stick like this and see what kind of speckles fall off everywhere. Deep space, woo! <laughs> 
wow, that's pretty cool. And if you want to get really fancy, you could even use different colors because gases and elements and things that stars make up are made out of are different colors. They're not always white. Like when we look up in the sky, we see actually mostly white and silver, but sometimes we'll see some some star that looks almost reddish. There's our red super giant. So you could actually do this with other colors besides white. I don't have any right now. I just have white. So there we go. And um, it works, I think, with a toothbrush. So if you go like this, stick your toothbrush in the white paint, you can either scrape it, oops, <laughs> to make sure that you have some table protection down. And there you have a picture of deep space. Ta -da -da. And we are done for today. We really talked about a lot of crazy things. So I'm going to go back to the FaceTime camera. Wow, guys. Well, I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for joining us next time. The, um, when we get to February, we're going to talk about water. And you can also earn a patch if you participate in two of those episodes. Bye, everyone. seen before. And here's where you get to make a choice. Was it ah, a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex? And I'm just gonna stick some pine cones in my box and um, then the fun starts. I just start rolling them around. The air rushing out of the balloon is going to push that balloon up. So let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Oh, wow. So that's how rockets kind of work. We are going to build two different kinds of rockets today. Work on as fast as you can, set it down, and wait. Woo! All right.